Welcome to the best of Combate Americas. Mucha más acción. It's the best of Combate Americas. Let's get the action started. Time for mucha más acción. Iniciamos una noche llena de mucha más acción con un duelo pactado a, a tres vueltas a un peso de 160 libras. We start an evening filled with much more action. Three rounds at a catch weight of 160 pounds. Los jueces, the judges, Guadalupe Chapa, Héctor Maldonado, and Matthew West. Presentando la esquina azul, introducing the blue corner. Vestido de negro con blanco, he enters wearing black with white. Su peso oficial, 159 libras y tres cuartos, his official weight, 159 and three quarter pounds. En su décimo cuarto combate a nivel profesional, he enters la jaula in his 14th professional bow. Representing Mission Texas, the combat kid. Su contrario en la esquina roja, his opponent in the red corner, vestido de blanco con azul y rojo, he steps in wearing white with blue and red. He weighed in at an identical 159 and three quarter pounds, detuvo la báscula, a un peso idéntico de 159 libras y tres cuartos. En su décimo primer combate dentro de la jaula, con siete victorias y tres derrotas, he enters la jaula for the 11th time as a pro, with a record of seven victories and three losses. Hailing from Manaus, Brazil, and now fighting out of McAllen, Texas, the Amazon warrior, Emilson Freitas. Our referee, Jacob Montalvo. We've been over the rules, let's have a good clean fight. Protect yourself at all times and follow my commands at all times, let's touch it up. Good luck, gentlemen. Jacob Montalvo, the third man inside La Jaula as we go head to head. It is a one inch via the height, two inch via the reach in favor of Edmilson Freitas, who looks to discipline his pupil once again here, but this time for reals. By the way, you know who else is from Manaus from the fighting game? Jose Aldo. Of course. There's some good fighters from that part, even though it's a little remote. Are you ready? You ready? Round one, let's go. We are underway. Our card. Hashtag Combate Texas. Yeah, the Amazon warrior there in the white shorts, Fritas. He's, he comes from a family of fighters. His uh, dad uh, uh, was a fighter. He's following in his dad's footsteps. And you can see that he's very aggressive and very confident in his stand-up. That first kick left a mark on Salazar. Freitas showing Salazar everything he's known. We'll see how attentive he was in class. Salazar, on the other hand, started fighting at uh, 18, changed his life around, and uh, Claims that's and a rear naked life. choke that's that's in pretty deep. That's why he's the wow. master. Yeah. Salazar out. It lasts wow. just under 40 seconds. He loves McAllen. Wow. We knew it was going to be an uphill battle here for Salazar, Juliana Peña. Sa Salazar wanted to keep it standing, but the second that they got into that clinch, he, uh, Fritas took his back, took him down, and it was And you called it. It was deep. It was deep quickly. And they said, hey, you know, I was a former student of yours, and uh, we'll go back to training after this oh. fight. This is just all business right now. Business is business. He was supposed to fight Raymond Vanda and Ed Nielsen Freitas, and Salazar taking the fight very on a week's notice. Right, and that's the problem, is that he's always taken a lot of last-minute fights and has moved up several weight classes, so that's kind of uh, why... Uh, yeah, but we're going to give him a shot again. Him. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, I appreciate what he exactly. did. Exactly, I would like to hear from your perspective. There's a fighter who pulls out. You need to put a fight on. A guy puts his hand up. That's got to be great for the promotion. Of course, yeah. Not only that, you're not defined by your wins and losses, you know? You either win or you uh, learn. You don't win and you lose. You win and you learn and you come back better next time. So he'll come back. So the Amazonian warrior goes 1-0 in combate. Uh, a guy who had a, a real spark on those kicks as he is greeted by Alberto Del Rio. Worth mentioning Alberto. Right here. 
from you. South Texas, lives down there, so close to home. This is a big card for him, and we will uh, talk more about that. A proud Texan, our patron. And Fritas is the number nine active <laughs> Texas pro welterweight out there right now, so he ain't no joke. All right, we'll get the official decision inside La Jaula from Lupe Contreras as we are underway here in McAllen, Texas. Quick peek after the two kicks, Juliana. That really watch that. I mean, from the, you can't see it from that angle, but it looked <laughs> like he really slammed his head. And I wondered if that just kind of took him out for a little bit. I saw it on the different angle. Uh, his head hit the mat hard. Yeah, he, ma he made a mistake giving up his back right away. Tried to throw the wizard, but he got body lock taken down right on his head, like you said, Campbell, and it was all she wrote. You can't give up your back that easy. But look, they're friends. They're cool. <laughs> You're like, nice job. Another lesson, free. This was a freebie. Los caballeros la esquina roja aplica un estrangulamiento mata león, obligando a su rival a darse por vencido con un tiempo oficial de 44 segundos del asalto inicial. Ladies and gentlemen, the red corner secures a rear naked choke, forcing his opponent to tap with an official time of 44 seconds of the opening stanza. Your winner, by way of submission, el vencedor por sumisión. The Amazon Warrior, Emilson Freitas. Eight and three now overall is Freitas. Exclusive Combate Americas merchandise. Just go to shop.combateamericas.com. Stay connected to the fastest growing sport in the world. From the comfort of your own home, Combate Americas brings you the most exciting fights, the latest in MMA news, features, and mucha más acción. Follow Combate Americas on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to watch Combate Americas on Access TV, Univision, and 2DN. Combate Americas, mucha más acción. Best of Combate Americas moves on. Time for fight two. Presentando la esquina azul, introducing the blue corner. Vestido de negro, con rojo, azul y blanco. He steps in wearing black with red, white, and blue. Su peso oficial, 156 libras, his official weight, 156 and one half pounds. En su octavo combate dentro de la jaula, con un récord de seis victorias y una derrota. In his eighth bout, with a record of six victories against one lone defeat. El demonio de Far Texas. Juan González. Su contrario en la esquina roja. His opponent in the red corner. Vestido de blanco con rojo y azul. He steps in wearing white with red and blue. His official weight, 157 and one quarter pounds. Su peso oficial, 157 libras y un cuarto. Con un record idéntico a su rival. De seis victorias y una derrota. He steps into the jaula with an identical record to his opponent of six victories against one loss. Fighting out of Westlaco, Texas. Elias Rodriguez. Our referee, Jacob Montalvo. All right, you've been given fight instructions. Let's have a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times and follow my commands. Let's touch it up. Good luck, gentlemen.
Caro a Caro. Jacob Montalvo, the third man inside La Jaula. As we go to the head of that, these guys both with a, a late start in the business. We, we talked about Juan Gonzalez and his service to the U.S. Naval Academy. Now he started training in 2010, as we see the tape. Local heroes, these two. Two Texans. Just following up, Campbell, when you chose to make Texas its own you ready? independent you ready? competitor yeah. in the Copa. What was the thinking behind that? The thinking was Texas is its own country in a lot of ways. The Republic of Texas. Well, well, the talent that we have here, it's a big place. We're seeing it here and a lot of good fighters. And Rodriguez unloading lefts and rights, all connecting. Rodriguez with the body lock, takedown, gets it. Nicely done, looking to release his hands. Digging in that shoulder pressure. He is the black belt in jiu-jitsu. Nice heavy hips. Juan Gonzalez trying to retain his guard, but that shoulder pressure is making it very difficult for him to make any sort of movement. Those big heavy hips on top of you, it's hard to move a guy like that. Yeah, he's really trapped under there, isn't he? Oh, right beautiful yeah, connection. No, that's, he's not going anywhere at the moment. Right. Looking for the key lock. Almost there, like the tempted Kimura, and then now he rolls around. And this was a guy who said he was going to try and keep it standing, but it's on the ground. He's finding some success. It's a straight arm bar. Now getting some bend on that arm. Now going into the Kimura if he can get it, but it's going to go Kimura, straight arm bar, key lock, Kimura, straight arm bar, key lock. And Gonzalez in defense mode, just making sure he is aware of whatever direction that arm is going. Is and Rodriguez is a high octane guy. He's, he could go hard and fight all night long, and he cannot be deterred. But nicely done by Juan Gonzalez getting his guard back. But you got to get this guy off of you. Rodriguez now to Sweeping his feet. Sweeping up for an arm bar. Going for an arm bar, Juan Gonzalez, and that that looks locked. Oh, he just needs to use those hamstrings. Gets oh. out. No. No dice, and he makes him pay. Now coming yeah, that from was the 12 price. to 6 with these Punch punches. Punch to a pass and takes his back. He's creeping. Moving up. Elias Rodriguez. 6-1 and one record. Combate debut. Both fighters with 6-1 and one records. Will we see a second round? Backpack in. Back to the feet is Gonzalez. He needs his hips out and needs to face his opponent. Beautifully done. And we saw at the, uh, the tail of the tape, it's Gonzalez at 5'11". Nice. Great jab and a left hook for Gonzalez. A little glancing left catches Rodriguez. Inside leg kick. And Rodriguez was previously stating that he wanted to keep it standing. But back to the clinch they go. Nice head position. Well, there was nice head position. Couple knees there by Gonzalez, who you have to like. He is in the black shorts. He was uh, almost DOA at the beginning of this fight, and he has found a way to Tilt the scales, although that arm almost under the chin by Rodriguez. Nice little John Jones backwards elbow. A nice jab and a right looping hook. Here we go, following it up. Rodriguez answers back with his own jab, charges in forward, eats a knee. And he's Short off rights. the fence. Gonzalez, change. Inside of the knee is Gonzalez trying to win back some points here in this opening round. Nice underhook, nice head position. And you get that second underhook. Beautiful knee. Again for Gonzalez. And I was almost thinking one's a brown belt, one's a black belt. Maybe their jiu-jitsu is going to negate uh, yeah. each other. He pops his head back like a Pez dispenser with that jab, just sticks that stick right in his eye. And with a teep kick to the body, nicely done by Gonzalez. Oh, nice big knee, knee and a the straight right. right. Yeah, this round is just turned around. Woo, oh, woo. Gonzalez, uh, he was uh, he was second fiddle at the beginning. He is now the first chair here, and he's asking oh, for some contact. Jab. All these punches. Just bobbleheading him. Double unders for Rodriguez. What's Gonzalez do here, Juliana? To Gonzalez did the perfect thing. He dug for an underhook. He jacked it up to the moon. He reversed him on the cage, and it's not good. Great chin by Rodriguez. He has taken 10 flush hits on that chin. Careful. And now he drops it. Head and arm guillotine. 
and that could be tight, but Gonzalez yep. doing the right thing by shoulder pressuring and fighting the hands. He gets his head out, pops his head out. Crowd really into this one. They've been into it all night. Uh, this is a good fight, though. Just got the, the ground game is very active. They're exchanging blows, standing up, back and forth. And a little payback because Rodriguez was heavy in that uh, half guard in the beginning of the opening round. And now at the closing end of the round, Gonzalez now has the big heavy hips and he's on top, giving a little payback. This is going to be a tough round to score, and it's the round that's ended, the first first round to end tonight. I, I disagree. I think that that round goes to Gonzalez all the way. Nice inside leg kick and a right hook from Gonzalez. Answered back with an outside leg kick from Rodriguez. Dives right into the clinch and gets his body lock takedown. That was perfect. Yeah, that was perfect. That right? was this perfect. Is, that, that was his. That was. And just that whole positioning. And then he's, he's calling him to the center. Saying, bring it on, dude. Round two, looks like Rodriguez needs to make these adjustments. Looks like he's got back his bearings let's see how well he does but he eats that jab he's been yeah. eating it all all the fight in a straight two legit. he's not making Ooh. any attempt to protect himself oh man. No, i mean is is that a strategy Whoa. it's not a strategy it's just the head movement needs to be a little more yeah no kidding now standing right in front of Gonzalez, short the, right, clips him again. Those all loopers, working. those looping right hooks and the straight rights, there's the tail of the tape. There's a guillotine that could potentially be deep. It's got him right by the chin strap, potentially go for a go-go. Single leg position, and he punches off with the right hook, does Rodriguez. That jab, though, he's got to move his head. He keeps eating that jab. This is a view to very close matchup. It's appeared that, although Gonzalez taking a tighter hold of the reins. He's the much taller party as well. And you can see that he's a lot physically stronger. He's very imposing on his opponent. He's imposing his will and just piecing him up on the feet. There's a little protection, but it was, it was fleeting. Gonzalez looking fresh, takedown attempt. I like this. Ooh, that nice right, right hook was heavy by Rodriguez, and he needs to get on his own game plan, impose his own will, and strike first. He can't sit there like a sitting duck and just wait for Gonzalez to just tee off on him. <laughs> a little capoeira. Uh, you said something really interesting. That they're both their jujitsu is good, that it's a push. They're looking somewhere else now to fight, and that has become clearly evident, Juliana, because it's a stand-up battle now. It's a push, and Rodriguez said he wanted to keep the fight standing, so ask and you shall receive. This is just a slugfest right now, and he just keeps eating those right hands and going for the guillotine again. That and this has got to be tight. Oh, this better be on. tight. Held on to the cage for a moment. Oh, and he pops his head, bench presses Man. his head right out, and he's saved. Good officiating by Jacob Montalvo. He yeah. knocked that hand yeah. out quickly. Well, yeah, don't touch the cage. Only an unfair advantage. There's some blood flowing. A little hammer fist coming yeah, down. That's from probably that eye cut that we saw. Rodriguez is doing everything he can to suck up Gonzalez so that he can take the space away so that he can not get teed off on. But you got a big guy like Gonzalez on top of you. It's hard to do. Drops Needs to down. put those feet on the hips and try to get up. Maybe butt scoot to the cage and try to use the cage to help you as a wall to get back up to your feet. But you're going to lose the fight 99% of the time when you're flat on your back like this. That's a bad cut now. Yeah, it's Ooh, yeah. off the face of Rodriguez, splattering it's, it in all directions. Gushing and big elbows for Gonzalez, and he's done. That's it, it's right, over! That's done. All right, okay, that's a good call. That's done. a good demon! Call. The first fight to go into the second round. And he does a little BJ Penn action, licking the blood off of his guantes. Red badge of courage with your opponent's blood all over your face. Respect to Diego Fierra and his corner and his team. Nicely done, good competitor, good sportsmanship there. Absolutely. Well, you feel for Rodriguez and the eight kids at the
Thought their dad probably was going to get the upper hand, but as that fight wore on, so did Gonzalez's improvement. Well, you know, Gonzalez will live to fight another day, or excuse me, Rodriguez will live to fight another day, and, and family is the most important thing out there. So, you know, you had a tough fight, but you'll go back to your family and JP, they'll love you no matter I what. Mean, not to take away from Gonzalez, because that, that was good stuff, but I mean, it looked like Rodriguez uh, aided in his own defeat. I mean, he didn't seem to adjust. Yeah, he ate a lot of those shots. I didn't see him doing anything to defend against it. It was his uh, fight to lose, you know, and he yeah. kind of just let him impose his own will. He never got the start that he needed. He never got that spark. He never shot out of a cannon. He never implemented his own game plan. He didn't hit first. He just kind of stood in front of him and let Gonzalez tee off on him. And that was kind of the story of the fight. And that lack of head movement is why boxing fans criticize MMA. Like he's just a big target, right? That literally no head movement. And, you know, he just kept taking those punches and Oof. pretty much they were. Oof. Yeah, that's what, that was a good call. Yeah, it was. I'm very happy. We couldn't really call. see that from our angle. Yeah, but it you was, see it there and it's like. It's, Devastating yeah. elbows. Former member of the Naval Academy. Thank you for your service. Went to South Texas College, so came in with the Texas flag and he will walk out with it around his shoulders in victory. Tolupe. Caballeros, la acumulación de golpes obliga al referee Jacob Montalvo a parar la contienda con un tiempo oficial de 3 minutos, un segundo del segundo capítulo. Ladies and gentlemen, an accumulation of blows forces referee Jacob Montalvo to step in and call a halt to this contest with an official time of 3 minutes 1 second of the second round. Your winner by way of technical knockout, el ganador por knockout técnico, el demonio, Juan Gonzalez. And Juan Gonzalez trains with Cowboy Cerrone and Pato Martinez, who we're going to see later on the card. Beautifully done. El demonio. Yeah, he's the demon. Coming up, we continue with the best MMA fights. The best of Combat de America will be right back. Lo sigo diciendo, esta es la fiesta hispana de las artes marciales mixtas y estamos a punto de arrancar, señores. Toda mi gente que está aquí, ahora. Es emocionada, ven nada más, la gente está ferviente. Combat de América es MMA, mucha más acción. Exclusive Combate Americas merchandise. Just go to shop.combateamericas.com. Best of Combate Americas moves on. Time to fight three. Continuamos con mucha más acción. Las damas de la jaula, tres vueltas. En la división peso paja. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with much more action. The ladies of la jaula, three rounds in the straw weight division. Los jueces, the judges. Héctor Maldonado. Matthew West y Mónica Acuña. Presentando en la esquina azul. Vestida de negro con el tricolor mexicano, verde, blanco y rojo. Introducing the blue corner. Wearing black with the colors of Mexico, green, white and red. Her official weight, 114 and one half pounds. Su peso oficial, 114 libras y media. Esta noche entra a la jaula de Combate Américas invicta en cuatro combates profesionales. Tonight, she enters la jaula undefeated as a pro with four victories. De San Juan de Gracia, Michoacán, Mexico. Paulina Vargas. 
I love his voice. En la esquina roja. The best. Vestida de rojo con blanco in the red corner. Wearing red with white, her official weight, 115 and three quarter pounds. Su peso oficial, 115 libras y tres cuartos. En su quinto combate dentro de la jaula, con cuatro victorias y una derrota. In five pro bouts, she has a record of four victories against one defeat. Representing Waco, Texas, Desiree Dirty Dizianes. Our referee, Joshua Ferrado. Okay. Ladies, fight hard, fight fair, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. All right, again in the strawweight division, Vargas with a one-hit height advantage, but four inches via the reach. You heard Desiree Yanez, she's the Texan here, but Waco in Central Texas, not exactly close in a big state, but does have somewhat of the home field edge against the pride of Michoacan, Paulina Vargas. Vargas in black, we're underway. We started with five fights, all ending no more, no deeper than the second round, four in the first round. Last fight going the distance. Good kick of the lead leg by Yanis. Nice right sneaks through for Yanis. Inside leg kick for Vargas and returned by Yanis. Left Great. hook. Good head movement by there. There's a sneak in that straight right, barely misses. See, Vargas not going to be a stationary target for anything Giannis is going to dish out. Giannis with the outside leg kick. Ooh, and an uppercut. Hard strikes early on. Nice. And she's confident in her game. You can tell. Overhand right for Vargas. Giannis is fast. Vargas very smooth and methodical in her action. That one glances off the lead leg. That allows Vargas entryway in. Vargas got, hold on, she's got like, the, like fights with slippers on. It's very easy movement with her feet. For Yanis? Uh, Vargas. Oh, I think Yanis moves, moves really well as well. Oh, oh, that's a good right hand, Vargas, and Yanis returns the favor. Beautiful right hand, but you see how Vargas nice had a little slipping move towards her, but going north and south. Seems like Yanis going east to west. Now, Yanis is moving real oh. well. Oh, that one hurt. The lead leg. Vargas is in. Nice overhand for Vargas. Yanis in the clinch. Big right hand for her. She picks up that kick. Looking for the takedown, but nice plum tie for Vargas. Defending the takedown, Giannis needs to break that. Vargas takes a blow and she's She needs to get an underhook and keep her there on that, that fence or else she's out. Vargas ranked third pound for pound in Mex Mexico amongst all women fighters. Number 12 ranked pound for pound throughout Latin America. Nice right again, barely misses right on the shoulder for Vargas. She's got her foot on the pedal. You know, I sometimes am so busy evaluating these fighters, I forgot to say something. This is a great <laughs> fight. This is a great start. I like both these women. Um, they're, they're aggressive. They're coming out. They obviously respect each other's skills. Um, I, I like them both. There's power. I think Giannis yeah. is affected by that lead foot, that lead leg kick from earlier. She's slowing down, yeah. but she's got a nice uppercut that landed and got through. And she's long. Nice head movement, nice footwork. Sometimes in MMA, they, they use the expression zombie for somebody who just walks through stuff. Vargas strikes me as one that both you could describe that way. Both of these girls throw leg kicks and they eat it and they keep coming forward. None of those leg kicks faced either fighter. Good punches going to the body there, Giannis. Oh, oh big sharp. straight yeah. left. That one hurt. Back goes Giannis. Such a precise puncher, Vargas. Oh, Giannis, right. get off of that fence, please. Vargas does not waste any motion. She's tired. She's she reminds tired. me of Melly. Yeah. It's just oh. the very precise, right? Very controlled, backing her opponent up against the fence and taking the right shots. Very surgical. 
Super Vargas manly. is impressive in the sense that she's been able to control the center the entire time. She's always in the center of the howla with Giannis's back always constantly always backpedaling backing towards the howla. Always backing her up. Yeah, and you get the you get the feeling there is a fire plug in that right hand for Vargas, and if she connects, buenas noches, adios, felicidad. And she's just content to just continue to have her back up against the howla. Now the engage. Nice knee to the bread basket and another oh, no. knee to the head. Here comes another. She went to the penthouse with that knee there. 40 seconds to go in this opening round. Action packed. Exactly, I like it. So Vargas is trying to stalk her up the fence and Giannis is throwing warning shots. Big hooks saying, get off of me. Well, yeah, I see Vargas always has that chin down. Oh, yeah. She's got great striking, her discipline. You can see it. Just a good boxer. Yeah, good head movement, good positioning. And, that's and they're just really picking these shots. Oh, yeah, but it, Giannis is not out yet. She's answering back to everything that Vargas is throwing. I'm right with you. I told you. Both of them are tough. Nice. Oh, good from Giannis. Right. Good exchange. Again, oh. flurry punches on that left hook sneaks through, but Vargas eats it. What a round. Yeah. We'll get another one. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Oh, yeah. We will be right back. Stay connected to the fastest growing sport in the world. From the comfort of your own home, Combate Americas brings you the most exciting fights, the latest in MMA news, features, and mucha más acción. Follow Combate Americas on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to watch Combate Americas on Access TV, Univision, and 2DN. Combate Americas, mucha más acción. Exclusive Combate Americas merchandise. Just go to shop.combateamericas.com. Not enough tattoos, though. She <laughs> there's, there's still some skin, empty skin. <laughs> Vargas, wow. Vargas is so disciplined in her stand up, training with Alexa Grosso and Irene Aldana at the Lobo Gym MMA in, uh, in Mexico. Head coach Luis, or excuse me, Francisco Grasso, so disciplined in her striking. Nice left hook that sneak, snuck through there for Giannis. We'll see how this goes. Now, we go into the second round. Worth reminding, Paulina Vargas has never seen a fight go to round three. Four wins, four KOs in her very young MMA career. Giannis has gone that distance, so we'll see how that calculates here in this critical second round here from Combate Texas. Giannis looks like she could be a little bit injured. I thought I saw her limping a little bit after she got up off her stool. Round two. Straw weight contest here. Again, Giannis takes uh, the is content to take her back up against the howla, and Vargas just stalks her down. The second yeah. the round started, she was already in the center of the howla, and she was on her horse, getting ready to get into her face. Lurking, gets in that clinch just for a moment. Vargas now up, up against the cage. Nice underhook. Watch Vargas use this underhook in the best way. Jacks it up to the sky and turns her changes the position completely. Now she has her own underhook with great head position. And she's more able to get those knees off. She's trying to get Giannis to the ground. She is the immovable object, Vargas. She looks so slight, and she is, but that is a tough, strong woman there. You're not using that wizard. You need an underhook, Giannis. There it is. Thank you. Asking you shall receive. I haven't now, do seen a good wizard in a while. 
nice uppercut. Some Randy Couture style action. Here comes the underhook again. Textbook, nice knee. Giannis comes back with her own underhook. Got that arm locked in well. Giannis, dirty dead, is able to furl a knee. Nicely done by Vargas to get off the fence. Disengagement. There's Giannis Vargas. Getting backed into a corner. But she fires back warning shots. Good turn on that right hand. Short left. Good head movement as, as Campbell you touched on earlier. Really aggressive offensive fighter Vargas, but good defensively too. Double jab by Vargas. Pushing yeah, very defensive. Back. Yeah, and you know, combining it with her offense. You know, hard to hit, always coming forward, but knowing where she is in the fight. But that Nicely swing of the done. hips. Nice. Waiting Honest. for a leg kick and got it. Needs to push that knee down to the left side. Push that knee down to the mat and pass. She's got a half butterfly in, and you can pass if you push that knee down to the mat. Instead, she's going to be in a threat of a, a triangle or just a high guard in general, which could be dangerous. She could be setting up a potential triangle or armbar. Heel into the backside. That can't feel good. Giannis is no slouch, the number one ranked active Texas woman, pound for pound. Giannis getting her ground and pound off. She needs to activate her hips, get some better posture, or else she's going to get arm barred. Make sure to follow the hips here. This is a dangerous spot. When their hips go perpendicular with yours, you know you're in trouble. Good stuff by pass, Giannis. Turned pass, it here. Pass, pass. Didn't do it. Didn't listen to you, JP. Sharp okay. elbows. Anywhere there's a piece of flesh, Vargas will find it. And tattoo it. <laughs> She'll have a black and blue tattoo somewhere there. It won't be permanent. This is a dangerous spot, too. When your butt is a little too high, you're more susceptible to be punching yourself into a submission. So Giannis needs to be careful not to get too high here. But this is perfect. This is where she wants the fight. This is where she wants to, to be the most successful, is on top, cramming her into the howla so she has no space to work and just ground and pounding her into oblivion. Well, this has been a great stretch for Giannis, at the very least, able to get the second round if she can keep it here. Varg is trying to sweep her, but to no avail. Varg, Giannis still on top. See our Spanish language broadcast team, Gaston Reino now there in the chair as well. And Alberto has his guys, daughter. It's a, it's a family affair here. She's gonna, the daughter's going to bill you for a <laughs> broadcast. Giannis needs to keep working here. Unless you don't want the refs to stand you up, you got to keep working. You think Vargas is thinking that? Go, this is a spot to maybe slow it down and get things back to the feet via the ref? Um, yeah, of course that's what you would want. But um, and it, could happen. It, it could happen. If there's not a lot of action from Giannis, the, you are definitely in the threat of getting stood up, especially here. 40 seconds here in the second round. Giannis Again, this is letting Vargas control the back of her head. She needs to break that grip and, and posture up and not allow her to hold on to her as much. She's get her arms free. Windshield wiper so you can get that arm free so you can start punching again. This will take us to the end of the second round, and Giannis has probably won this second round with the work she's done here. I agree. I think they're one apiece. How about that? More elbows into the leg, but it's worth it for Giannis. Has squeezed nice. out Vargas nice. in the second nice. round. See what you can do when they're not controlling your head. One takedown. All right. Well, that Nicely might be one done. round each. Giannis, when she got up, I and mean, you felt it. There's like a, a a dead leg in there for sure. After Vargas, even on her back, was able to. Vargas says she's never been to the third round, and uh, she's here now. Yep. Something new. This was a perfect opportunity for Giannis to pass Ladies to our and left side. Here at State Farm Arena, they but she was also content to just stay in guard and just ground and pound, which this also is. works. The a sweep here attempt from Vargas, but it did not work. Giannis stayed on top. And did a lot of ground and pound, but Vargas was also working off of her back with a bunch of punches as well. Salto. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Third and final round for these women. 
And so far, it's been an exciting fight. Back and forth action between both ladies. Vargas ready. Fists up. It looked like it took a lot out of Giannis, everything she did in the second round. Probably took a lot more out of Vargas than it did in uh, than Giannis, because Vargas has to bear the weight of Vargas on uh, Giannis on top. Dirty Dez Giannis saying that O's got to go for Vargas. The unbeaten record at risk here in this third round. Nicely done by Giannis to say, get off of me. But Vargas with the precision striking. Oh, and that one hurt her. She goes, for, she tried the takedown there. Is that something Giannis has to do? I don't think she tried do? the takedown as much as yeah. she did. She got hit in the face. Yeah, I think she was going down a little bit. Okay. This looks like the first round again. Do you think Giannis, after the success for the takedown, is that something to do here in round three? Get the takedown again, absolutely. There she's going for the takedown and, and just... Slipped out. A little too telegraphed. You got to use those punches to set up the takedown. There she goes. She's in the clinch. In. And Vargas is out. Vargas is abundantly aware of that. And Vargas stalking her again with her punches. Nice straight right. Her corner calls for it, and she does it. Nice dip jab from Giannis. Good right. right. Giannis backs her up against the cage. This is where Vargas wants it. That jab by Vargas is Take lethal. Take down. down. Done it. Leg sweep. Yeah. Oh, outside leg trip by Giannis. Gorgeous. Timing was perfect. What does Vargas have to do here, Juliana? Vargas needs to let go of the head because you're not going to sweep her. You need an underhook. You need to get that right elbow on the inside of her hips and use it to frame her elbow so that you can get an underhook. Let go of her head. Get an underhook. Create some you. space. Create some space with that left elbow. Dig that left elbow. You're not going to sweep her like that. Oh, she's mounted her. Giannis in full mount. Mount punching her face off. Looking for the cross face. So dominant. Vargas oh. takes it. Vargas, Giannis turned this fight around Holy and Mac won it in the third round. And the O has got to go. Now, wait a minute. She tapped because Cause she was getting, she was her getting her face beat up. Punched off. She hurt something. Uh, something. Wow. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Oh, the, the right ankle. Congratulations. Yeah, something happened. That wasn't, oh. she didn't tap for the beat down, I think. There's some nice. We will be right back. Exclusive Combate Americas merchandise. Just go to shop.combateamericas.com. Lo sigo diciendo, esta es la fiesta hispana de las artes marciales mixtas y estamos a punto de arrancar, señores. Toda mi gente que está aquí, ahora es emocionada, ven nada más, la gente está ferviente. Combate Americas es MMA, mucha más acción. <laughs> a star rises, the underdog. All right. oh, what prize like for both. Vargas telling Beautiful. Giannis excelente. It's not, I don't know why she tapped. I think I, she might have hurt her ankle. Like yeah, that. I mean, I, I, I saw that she was getting beat up, but I didn't think that would uh, have done it. I she, think she was sitting on her ankle in a way that twisted the ankle back. Giannis found success in the second round with the takedown. In the third round, she got the takedown and she got cleared the guard, got that the mount, Joey Ruke? got the tap. Here she comes into mount. Let's watch the right. Elbows, 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 punches, and she only punches with one hand to show her dominance. 
elbows to the shoulder and she taps. Yeah, it's, well, see, that weird. wasn't it's such a weird. I don't know what happened, but her right foot her is up foot. in the air. But your foot had nothing to do with it. Yeah, but her head was up. She wasn't taking that many shots in the face. Well, she was elbowing her shoulders, and I think that because she was trapped in but mount, she couldn't use her ankle to get in to advance her position to get out of mount because obviously she sprained it or something. Up you get. They're going to take a look at that right ankle. I don't think it's broke. She probably just either rolled it or sprained it really bad. Could be broke, though. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Those guys are there. Yana says, I think she broke her ankle. We don't know, but she's walking on it now. Yeah, if she broke it, she wouldn't be able to walk, right? Yeah. Look, she's yeah, shaking she her butt. She did not break it. Just rolled it, sprained. I mean, if she broke it, she broke it. She, these, this was such a tough fight for both of these girls. These girls are so tough. It's so impressive, and it's such an honor to call their fight. It, very aggressive fight. Just uh, very much fun to watch. Liked it very much. Me too. Maybe we run it back one day. Maybe Super Melly gets it. Damas y caballeros, este Lupe combate Contreras. concluye con un tiempo oficial de un minuto, 54 segundos del tercero y último asalto. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout concludes with an official time of 1 minute 54 seconds of the third and final round. Your winner, by way of technical submission, la ganadora, por sumisión técnica, from Waco, Texas, Dirty Day. watching the best of Comase Americas.